Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Great War mod for Napoleon Total War. Uh, we have the Danish right here and they are cornered. And yet again the bastards run. We're gonna have to... Oh. I'm gonna have to corner them in another way. We're gonna drag them into... Co yes, that's the plan. Maybe. The cavalry mo will move away. And then... The tanks are the thing that is slowing this army down. We'll move up close. And then the cavalry will come in. And hopefully that will be... Within range. So the other army can join. I should have the airplane could be able to uh, sabotage the army and stop its movements, couldn't it? That could be a thing. Do we have any aircraft in the near close by? We have mm, bomb yes, quite close. But first, the stupid Austrongarians um, has to do their their thing, whatever that is. Plus, the um, Serbians are quite likely to... I'm building a theater for them, so... Hopefully that will be enough to appease them. After sh shooting almost 3,000 of them. Let's see, come on. austro hungaria They're moving on the uh, Greeks. They're even dispatching the navy to uh, deal with the Greeks. The Romanians. Oh no! I did not expect the Danish to have Danish to have a fleet like this. We will retreat. Crap. Ah, oh, this will sink everything. And there's no chance of victory here. Damn it. The flot, the flotilla, and the army sank to the bottom of the sea. Well, that goes these, my secondary um, attack on Britain. We've got a bomber. Let's see, do you can you reach Denmark? You can. Good. We had one over here as well somewhere. On his way here. Where are you? Stupid Danish navy. Uh didn't I have an aircraft right here somewhere? Can I see oh. I thought it was another one moving here. Right. Uh Bomb the army. Airplane detected, so... Letter of demand from the Balkans, and there is a strike on the Balkans. Move close. That should be within range, I hope. Recruitment in Provence. Fleet destroyed. Stuff constructed. Uh... One Sander sank to the bottom of the sea. Right. But these guys will be able to manage. And they will land in England. And then they will attack the trade route here. We have landed an army. They do not have a lot in the capital. But if I attack that army, that could p p do some be something. To show. We have to be careful here because the Italians are hiding in the forest. Um, are you going to be able to hold this down? I don't think you are. And this one, I don't think that will be enough. We'll hold this one here just in case.
and t -t 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 I move this, I move this, I move this. So all it's left is the one in Denmark. Let's see if this works. Yes, it did work. So this one will deploy first, but then we'll get the reinforcements. Christian Brahe! Consider yourself cornered! And now you will die. To make sure that we'll actually be able to play this, I'll uh, auto save. And here we go. We'll send in a cav the cavalry force first to scout out the area. But then the reinforcements will come in with tanks. That will be interesting to see. Possibly they'll crash, but who knows. Reinforcements are on the way. Here's the Danish army. Dressed in black. Seems to be uh, mostly normal regiments and then normal ish cavalry and some lights. They don't actually speak Danish, however, I think. I think I heard them speak Swedish. Pretty sure they did. Once we start fighting them, we'll hear a lot better. Right, um, let's speed this up. The general's coming in. He's bringing with him the machine guns. Second group of machine guns. Third group just waiting out. Ah, here comes the tank. Here we have it. The first regiment of horse artillery. The second regiment of horse artillery. So this is the female tank because it's got um, two turrets at the front and two turrets in the back, if you know what I mean. Giggity giggity. And this is the male tank because it's got only one thing at the front. Male tank, female tank. And to those that might think this is just John being silly, it's actually it's actually called A7V female tank. And this one is the A7V male tank. I believe the uh, British had a similar way of uh, marking the tanks. Let's move over there. And let's get that general over here as well. And let's have the machine guns set up on along there. And then we have the new infantry next to them. And then the tanks. And yes. And let's speed it up and let the Danes come to us. It's a shame that the Danes don't have any artillery. That could really have helped them. Instead, they go for a... Even though it's very late war at this point, they decided that they would go for a very... I guess they don't have the technology, but... I mean, at this point, maybe they could have had something more than what they currently have. It's going to be interesting to see the, um, the two tanks in action. The generals might as well fall back here. Uh, machine guns, let's have you gain ground then, because uh, we got more of these infantry coming in. And then the general over here, and the cavalry over there. Like, right. this one it can fire that far so once the Danish come out of the forest this ca cannon will be able to fire and I think this one has a similar arc just facing the wrong way let's 
So that will open f open fire with its its guns, and then I would like to say a tank battle, but they don't have tanks, so it's not really a tank battle, but a battle with it with tanks. The regiment is the third regiment of conscript. They will will be the first ones to experience a new type of warfare pioneered by Germany. Move up and it's it started to fire. Imagine being stupid little Danish walking along suddenly tremendous noise as two enormous tanks move up what are those things and it started to spray the Danish line with fire at the same time this one is uh, firing explosive shells at them I think he's gonna hit. Nope, he missed. The Danes still, though, they advance steadily. He have a he, has, he seemed to have a hard time figuring out how to aim at these guys. First, first you fired too too short, then you fired too long, and then too short again, and now too long. So fire at this one this cluster this one was broken down how about you aim here in the in the thick of all this we've got machine guns coming up if the Danish pass by the tanks they will there will be more fire coming in nice this is what I want I want them to aim for one unit and hit two Possibly even three. But the, the Danes, they keep coming. We got the sniper group. And then we got more infantry. Let's see if we can have the sniper group find some important target. Oh! We've got cavalry charging. How will this go? The cavalry charged the tank. Silly Danes. What do you intend to do on this beast of steel? Look at the horsemen dying all around. Although they did, <laughs> they did actually kill the tank. Or well, there's there's one guy left. Is this one still firing? No, I don't think it is. It's the machine guns that up that was firing. Yeah, the, ta the tanks were defeated by the Danes. Bloody hell. We're gonna do an old style attack. Now, technically these, I would dismount these to attack the enemy. We're gonna do an old style attack and charge swords drawn. Charge! Our charge were a lot more effective. 
And we broke the dangerous ranks. Right, let's get the snipers up here. Maybe we can assassinate the general. Defeat the Danish! We've got two more units coming in. Moving in to support here in the rear. That's um, kind of disappointing that the uh, cannons, I mean my tanks, oh! As soon as I clicked the, uh, the snipers, might have been able to snipe the bastard. The cavalry uh, had enough, but they did well routing the Danish right flank. The machine gunners are getting back on their post. The flank held, but is now in a fight with the seventh light foot. What are you doing? Stop walking around. Get into formation and start returning fire. Move these one, these up. These will go back. Let's have the snipers move up there. And the Danes are falling back. The Danish charge took out our machine guns. Can you not remount the machine guns? Where are they? I can. S I think I saw one over here. Let's see. There they are. Take back control of your machine guns and fire at them as they leave. So sh we lost our tanks due to a Danish cavalry charge. That was unexpected. I thought the uh, the monstrosities would hold against such an attack. But no, they didn't. You know, it would be well if all the snipers fired. There we go. Right, advance into the forest. And we've got two new fresh units that turned up. They will go and aid over here. Where's the general? Let's see, the Danes are holding their position. Keep firing, man! Fire! The Danes have been defeated. The machine guns keep firing. Okay, let's go ahead and end this. Fix! Bennets! I wonder if a daring charge by my general can end this. The Danes have given up. They've got a unit of sharpshooters back here. That they did not deploy. They've got a few here routing. The walking all that way. Let's see if the general can charge all the way over there. Let's hide behind these as we close in on the Danish sharpshooters. I wonder if this is a new thing. Did the other generals have the pickle owl or uh, the sharpshooters just killed half the unit. 
No. No, the general died. Erich Ludendorff. That was the last action of the Danish. So they took, they killed the general and took out the tank. But Denmark as a whole is uh, still they are lost. But they did fight well. I'm pretty sure. What? Oh yes. Here we go. That's just the same. I lost my tanks. One unit machine guns and the general and 900 men. And the Danish army managed to get away. What is this? We need a new general. Uh, Paul von Letav Vorbeck will be the new commander of this force. And I am tired of chasing around that Danish army. Let's go directly for the capital. Same. No, this one cannot move yet. And enter. Now it's the... After my plane has moved, it's the Austrangarians and they're not going to do anything of importance. I'm just going to move around in circles. Like stupid bastards. Come on then. Oh, this is going to take forever. They, they haven't managed to do anything anything useful throughout this campaign I guess they can earn some points for just existing as a meat shield but all they did was um, was opt out of the wars I was fighting and then start their own ones against the Greeks. Peace treaty with Greece? Yes. I have no interest in fighting you. We have an opportunity here to intercept the Danish army. Yes. Second fight. They did not fare as well as in the first one. But maybe they will be able to hold the capital because I haven't been able to resupply that force well enough for the attack on the Danish capital. Peace with Greece. Reconnaissance plane. Trade with Spain was cancelled. Letter of demands on the Balkans. Aircraft lost. Ah, uh, he... yes, very good. Oh, I thought... I was hoping that would be an enemy aircraft detected. Why has Spain... Ah, uh, Spain goes ahead and join... I paid you... copious amounts of money not to join the enemy. Well then, I'll take Barcelona then. We'll go for a detour and take Barcelona. This aircraft. We'll go ahead and scout what the Spanish are up to. But it's too late in the war for them to do anything. And London's about to fall. Henry Gordon Bennett is defending. But I dare say, old chap, you won't be able to do anything. Let's switch these armies out and maybe we can suppress the rebellion. Yes, we were able to suppress the rebellion. And hopefully we'll hold on long enough for this to work. Long enough for me to give it to uh, the Austrians.
We'll attack the trade route over here. Not entirely sure who they're trading with, but... We do have a navy here. I want to see what the Danish have. Nothing. The capital is open for taking. Um, this army will be moving towards Barcelona. This army is fully fledged. Let's make sure that we have the reconnaissance plane in the area. We've got this bomber over here. Uh, how about you bomb this? Bomb the mines. Oh, I was detected and shot down. Uh, what else? Yes, the Danish. Then it is the English force. That is next. But I think we'll keep that for the next one. Uh, was it early or late December that I would win? Late December. Right. Well, uh, without further ado then, I will go ahead and say I hope you enjoy this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.